Andrew here with ANA Outdoors. I got Adam my, here. Yeah, I got my bud, my cousin Adam here. He's visiting from Florida. Uh, we're here in Central Indiana. We do a little muskrat trapping today. Got a got a pond with some muskrats in it. So we're gonna go make a couple shit, a couple sets. Uh, show you how we'll do that. And uh, we got Taylor Swift on the radio, so yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Us Florida boys are show these Indiana boys how to really trap. <laughs> Well, you can't trap it for this, so... Damn, got me. So, yeah. Here in the muskrat spot. I'm gonna do a little bass fishing, too. Oh. Good first pass. All right, Andrew, so explain what we got here. Got right here at our first, first location. Uh, so you can't really see because there's a bad glare on the water, but... You can kind of see a, it right there. Got a really good muskrat run. Run yeah, right there? Yeah, to a bank den going here, so... This is a really good worn trail, so we're going to go ahead and use a colony trap here. And, uh, the point of these colony traps is, uh, of course, for muskrats, you can just use one tank counter bears. You'll catch one, but if you put a colony trap in, you can catch multiple. You can catch two or three. How's it work? So they swim in, swim through there, and then they just can't swim out and they just drown. So, go ahead. All right. This was the old den over here, you said, Andrew? This used to be a run over here. Looks like they probably moved because the ground's caving in right here. Where the den was. Just like that. Oh, there's a couple holes. I don't know which one's that hole. Oh. There's two holes. Oh, shoot. Put it in the bigger one. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it out there in the trail. I think it'll work if it's not right on the horse. I don't know, I gotta stop and say my hands are <laughs> How cold is it out here, 30? Pretty cold out here today, guys. Really cold. Alright guys, right here at the next spot we got. Uh, you can see a little better in this water. You can see the run right there, going up under this bank. You see the bank's been caved in, and you can see they've been piling up this grass and stuff right here at the back of this back of this den entrance so I'm gonna stick a I'm gonna stick a 110 probably right about there and uh see if we get anything and here's our second run this Hoosier over here is starting to look like a professional Tom just about everything I know got we got our 110s here 110 kind of bears Tom everything he knows <laughs> lucky him yeah right <laughs> Sure, buddy. All right. Set it Hopefully right. we'll have something tomorrow, right, Drew? All right. We'll set it right down in there, like that. Right in front of the den. That's it. That's all it takes. All right. Let's take them down. And that's that's all there. All there is to it. That's right. Here it's the next morning. We're back checking the traps. And uh, if we look right here, looks like we got two muskrats. I set two traps right here. Uh, two conibers at this entrance. We got two big muskrats. You can see the run. I set a trap there, and then I set a trap here. It's like we got a double right here at the entrance. That is, that is awesome. I was not expecting to get two and one like that. Let's go down and check the colony trap over here. See if we... Uh, See if we got anything going on there. Yep, and if you look in there, we got two muskrats in the colony trap. Unbelievable. So we got four good muskrats today. Uh, yeah, if you look close there, you can see the two just right here with the run. There's that run going into the bank den. Uh, looks like they might have been running over here too. You can see the murky kind of stirred up water, but I was not expecting to show up and get this many here, guys. I, I knew there was one or two in here, but to catch four in one day like that, that's really, that's really a big, big thing. So let's take a look here at this colony trap. See that? Got two nice ones right there. 
to right there. We'll try and get uh, get that re that um, reset, and we'll get back to you in a second. We're back here at the first uh, first set. We got those two those two rats in the colony trap. And set two uh, two one tens right here at the front of this den entrance, and we got two nice two really nice muskrats. These ones are a little bigger. Yep, these ones are a little bigger. Two nice ones. All right, perfect head catches right there. Set of one ten. And... Oh. I'll get these reset and see if we can get any more. Four, <laughs> four in one day. That's, that's something else. They all are right there. All right, guys. Well, pretty good day. Pretty good day of trapping. That's usually how I make my muskrat sets. Just one tens right at the bank dens, or even colony traps. You can see that works. Works just as just as well, if not better. She so can, can get more than one. But well, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. What's up guys, we're uh, here at my next location I'm trapping. I've had a little raccoon feeder I made filled with corn here for a couple of weeks and uh, I have a trail camera sitting right there. I've been getting pictures of lots of coons. Running this creek eating this corn. I caught one the other day and uh, this is the first for me but I actually caught a squirrel in a dog proof trap. <laughs> that's uh, that was a, that's a little bit of a surprise. I've never, never done that before. But I got a new bucket of corn. It's getting pretty cold out, so coons aren't moving as much. I'm gonna put the new bucket of corn out. I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch this squirrel because uh, the fur isn't really worth anything. But squirrel meat's pretty good. It'd be a nice, nice little snack. So I'll go ahead and dispatch him, and I'll see you guys later.